Why do you feel so strongly about positive change happening starting with Well, I mean, my job is an excellent. I don't go within the normal uh, job situation of these jobs of the banking system. I'm a declared sovereign being. And the, the, see, the problem is as soon as you're born, you're given a birth certificate, your mother signs this agreement with the government with a bond number on the back. And from that day forward, you're a slave wage. And no one here knows that. That's the essence of what the problem is. We're also on Aboriginal land, which we don't have title to, which is their land, which was stolen from them, which still in the court system has been acknowledged, but in real life, Old Growth Forth, Old Growth Forth Log Mining, the uh, Enbridge Project, are all evidence that they do not take into account the Aboriginal opinion about their own land. So th that is unlawful. So what happened for me as a pirate, the reason I'm a pirate is that after 9-11, I declared my piracy. I said, I am not going to be under the rule of law of a government that show themselves to be criminals. They gave away BC Rail, they gave away BC Gas, they're giving away BC uh, Ferries. Accenture at the back end of BC Hydro is giving away our our jewel, our energy source, our energy supply. And, and then it's amazing coincidence that Accenture, this American accounting company, became the accounting company in the year 2002, the same year, the same accounting company, is working for Enron. They came up with an energy plan that allowed the IPPs to come out, and now we're going to be frozen in some incredible amount of hydraulic nightmares from all these dams that haven't had an overall environmental impact study done of all of them, and the impact on our water supply and our water rights. This is essential. Everything else is cover coding bullshit. And what they do is they go behind closed doors for uh, agreements like SPP or, or NAFTA and hold us to resource agreements that the public had no process involvement in, isn't good for us, and is giving away everything we have to these other people. That's treason. That's treason. So how do you deal with treason in the old days? You go down, you go into the court, you take the king, you cut off the king's head. But we're Canadians. We're polite. We're very nice. So we sit there in our coffee shops and we come to these protests and we listen to these speakers. And then we just kind of walk on home, go back, talk, go back to coffee shops. And, yeah, right, right. and nothing happens. Nothing happens because the average Canadian is completely asleep. They're asleep to the fact that they, the whole country has been given away. And that we have a genius. We have this incredible country, incredible people, and we are giving it away. And my cousin is actually Michael Ignatius. I, I, I just want it known that other people in families, other people around here, do not condone, do not agree with what they consider to be this political system. This political system has the MP represent the government to the people. They prove that in law. They are not following law. And yet they impose law. If we go out there and we cross that line, if you and I go on the street with cars right now, the police will come and they will put me in jail. And yet the very people that are taking old growth forests, cutting them down, taking them to Japan to build decks, they're millionaires and looked in the business world within their newspapers as very strong, committed people to the community. Meanwhile, they just raped the land, took everything out, used the RCMP to impose their will on those natives, took the money out, left a clear cut, and those people in Vancouver back here going, what? Where's my mocha? It's not hot. 